Well, I'd like to introduce you to this Mango uh, power station. This thing, number one, it's large. It's much larger than any other unit that I've ever had. Um, they did send this to me at no charge, so I just want to get that out in the open. Any review on anything like that, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Feel free to research these. Uh, research anything you're going to purchase online. Don't just go by somebody's, you know, somebody on the internet said. Um, but I have had it for about two weeks now, and it has performed flawlessly for me. I'm going to go over a few features on it to explain it to you because it is really cool. It has a lot of neat things that are different about the other power stations that I have. Um, and I do think I'm going to go ahead and buy, they sell an extended battery for it. I think I'm going to get one of those to, to double the capacity of it. But this thing is large, so it's much bigger than any other unit that I have. It's number one thing is it has a 30 amp outlet on it now. That's something new that I don't have on my other power stations. Um, it has wheels on the back because it's starting to get heavy now when it's this big. It's 3,000 watts of inverter and 3,500 watts um, of storage. So 3.5 kilowatt hours of battery storage with a 3,000 watt inverter basically is what it is. It has an extendable handle on the back that comes up so you can tip it back on the wheels and move it around so you don't have to carry it by this because it is so heavy. I'm not really sure what it weighs, uh, but I would guess it's getting up there 75 pounds, maybe more. Uh, it's lithium ion, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Keypad is really simple to use. We had a friend that stayed here a couple weeks ago in his pop-up camper, and uh, we set this out for him, and they plugged their RV into it, and they ran everything on their RV all night long. Um, phones, TVs, you know, a coffee maker, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the touch screen is really easy to use. You can have two of these. If you buy another one, you can link them together and you can have uh, split phase 240 power if you do two of them. They sell these uh, batteries that basically double. It's a little bit smaller in size, so it's probably this tall on it. Uh, but it's the same uh, 3.5 kilowatt hour, I believe is what it is, uh, battery to double the storage capacity on it. So a lot of units nowadays are expandable in the power station mode. It has 2,000 watts of solar input available on it. Um, I currently have the solar hooked up to it uh, outside on the building. I have 1,300 watts of solar that are hooked to it. Uh, it's only bringing in 36 watts right now because it's just in a main maintenance mode because the battery is currently at 100%. And then I have this set up in here. I've been able to transfer the power from this into our regular solar stuff that we have here on the property. Um, it has the regular 20 amp household outlets that are on it. There's four that are there. You have all these USBs. Um, these are the 27 watt ones. And then it has the USB C's that are up here, 65 watt, 100 watt. Uh, it has these DC outlets here that are 12 volt plus the household one. Didn't mean to hit that DC button. Um, you can charge it from the grid and it has a fast choke, a quick charge mode right there that you can push in the quick charge mode will let it take, um, oh, I forgot what it said it is. It's a really fast charging number. Uh, you need to make sure it's plugged into a 30 amp outlet when you, when you do that AC charger. Um, oh, it'll do 3000 watts on the charge on it. That's crazy. But you need to be plugged into a 30 amp outlet when you do that or you'll trip your breaker. But that's that fast mode is crazy if you wanna store, charge things up. Here it is with that little battery stacked on top to double the battery capacity on it. So you can see how neat that is. Um, and then they have the E-Link thing where you can connect two together. Like I said, you do split phase 240 power. Um, the solar charging is like I've said, up to 2000 watts and it's uh, 60 to 150 volts. So my panels that I have outside in the building, I'll show you in a second, but they are uh, 50, like 57 volts per panel. So I have them hooked up in series parallel because I have four, four panels. So two of them are hooked together in groups of twos, and then the twos are tied in together to come into here. Um, but it charges quickly. Um, it really does that. The, the charge, And you can charge it both ways. So you can have solar. And then here, if I want to charge it faster, I can plug it into the wall with my wall outlet during the day when it's sunny, charging still off of our solar our solar here that's at the, at the in the shop. We can do that. Um, but it's just a really cool unit. The fact that it has the 30 amp RV plug and then and it has so much power with 3,500 watts at a 3,000 watt inverter. Um, it's nice. We've been using it to actually transfer power into our regular batteries here at night. So I have this unit set up charging and then I can transfer this, you know, 3.5 or I've been getting close to maybe 3.2. I think it cuts off around 10%. I haven't actually caught what it cuts off at because the sun always comes up in the morning and it starts recharging it. Um, 
So I'm not really sure if you're getting that full 3,500 watts of battery storage out of it, but I've been able to transfer that every night. I just have a plug here that I ran into the room and I have battery chargers in our regular room. Uh, so it's not the most economical or I guess economical is not right, the white word. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of power to transfer from here. I go from, from DC to AC to get it out and then I take an AC to a DC charger in there. Um, so I lose a little bit of power when I do that, but I'm able to transfer this. I have a thousand watt uh, battery charger in there that will transfer to our 48 volt uh, battery system. We have the, uh, the big battery and then some battle borns and stuff like that here too. So this is just an auxiliary unit that I can run around here on the property. I can take it somewhere, plug it in. I can have solar panels hooked up to it. Uh, I can charge it from the grid. Uh, we can power RVs. Um, that kind of stuff. You wouldn't, you know, you couldn't run it all night long with a heater on or something like that. You know, a 500 watt heater in an RV, you could run it for what, seven hours maximum on this. You'd probably actually only get about six hours on it. Uh, but it would do all your other stuff, your coffee maker, your blender, your watch your TVs, charge your laptops, use all your lighting and stuff like that. Um, but you wouldn't want to try to run an air conditioner. Well, you could, you could run an air conditioner, an RV rooftop air conditioning for probably about two and a half to three hours off of this which might help you in the hot summer day. Uh, and if you had some big solar panels, you could do it probably all day, all day long, uh, continuous with a few, because 2000 watts of solar input is pretty impressive. So I'll show you the solar panels that we've got outside real quick and how we do that. So these last four solar panels on the bottom right here, the ones that I have tied into that mango unit, uh, just giving us more power to, to have stuff here and be able to transfer it into our, into our batteries at night or have that unit ready to go at any time during the day to be able to take it here on the property and have big power wherever I need to be. Mango is having some sales for the holidays and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a link in the description um, and also in a comment there, you can click and go check it out. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a slight commission if you do decide to purchase something from there. Like I said before though, anything on the internet where you're buying, please research it yourself. I've had great luck with this so far, but I've only had it for two weeks. I don't know that that's long enough to really recommend something. But this is out there. The technology is here. This, I really think that this is a neat unit. Um, I like the features that it has. And so far, it's been working really well for me.